Hey everyone, I'm back with a new banger. We are starting a new series on this channel. My name is Orhan and you might know me from some terminal tooling and libraries. And I was thinking to myself the other day, why am I not reviewing some of the terminal tools that came out recently or the things that I like or, or st stuff like that, you know, basically. And I'm um, planning to just uh, show you guys some very awesome stuff, mostly built with Rust and Ratatouille, but uh, there are no limits. So um, if there is anything that you think it's interesting written in Holy C, just send it over. Um, I'm happy to take a look at it. Also, I'm planning to do this weekly, but based on the intervals that I discover things, I might do it less frequent or more frequent. We'll see. Um, we're just learning along the way. So let me know about what you think about these series and what you want to see next and so on. But today we're going to take a look into something very interesting. It's a TUI, a Terminal user interface runs in the terminal, written in Rust, built with Ratatouille, and it allows you to view the planes around you, currently traveling, the passengers. No, not the passengers, but, but the planes. And you can just basically see them on your terminal. So we will need a special hardware for that, but don't worry, it's not expensive, it's quite cheap, and you can also get it and try it uh, in your in your city see the planes around you if you missed your flight you can just monitor it going above you you know just to feel a bit more sad maybe i don't know uh, it's quite cool um so yeah i'm gonna basically um show you the hardware first um or maybe i'll show you the project so this is the thing that we are looking into today it's a project called adsb deku or radar tui and it looks like this. I'm gonna live demo it, don't worry. I'm gonna dox myself, you're gonna see my location and you'll be seeing the planes currently flying around me. So um, it is basically listing the airplanes, communicating to them in one way, so just reading some data probably, and then showing them on the map in the terminal. And you can zoom in, zoom out, do other things, etc. The hardware that we are going to use today is called RTL SDR it basically looks like this here are some hardware like some electronic parts that I'm not really knowledgeable enough to give you some information but it, it basically works like reading the signals or reading the waves radio waves or ADSB waves around you and um, doing some operations on them and um, there are some other versions of this little usb dongle apparently there are some fake ones and clones i'm not sure if uh, what i have is a clone or not but it works so yeah um i'm gonna show you my my hardware um this is this is what i have rtl sdr i don't have the case anymore i kind of sacrificed it for a framework project that i was working on a couple of years ago it's called rtl lion at rtl lion framework so yeah, basically I, I was interested in, in this and I worked it for a couple of years and then I learned Rust and then my life was simply over and um, I don't have time anymore. So yeah, this is what I have and I'm gonna plug it in and show you how it looks like. Also, I have built a tool called RTL map just to visualize the, the captured signals. It's written in C and um, quite old at this point but still works and also you can use the terminal version or just plot them like this so i'm gonna plug this in and show you how it looks like okay um now it's plugged in firstly i want to give you a little trick we don't use ls usb first of all we use a tool called timey this is a tool written in rust and it allows you to work with usb buses and devices and i pretty much like this better because it has a better output you can give it some parameters to get more information so um, my device is rtl 2832u and you can get some other information and other stuff like that from here so it's it's plugged in uh, to test this out you can either run the rtl test script and if you're using arch linux this comes from the rtl sdr package you just run this and it will read some samples 
and it will say that hey i couldn't read in some some sample there's something wrong if something goes wrong basically you can use my rtl map tool um give it some parameters and it will basically uh, draw this graph from the signals that it's getting so th that's just two ways of testing if your rtl str is working or not so now um the the project that we are looking into today is like i said asdb deku and it has a documentation firstly it mentions the hardware that you need str like i told you uh, you can use rtl str it's, it will be a good idea to buy some long antenna um i have actually two antennas where's the other one hold on the the default one that i get with the rtl str is quite small actually uh it's this one but um you can get an extra uh, like a longer one i i'm using the longer one right now uh, it's uh it's like this so it's it's um basically longer and captures more signals and the reason why the the antenna is quite small is that this rtl str device is actually for just capturing the tv signals and just you know watching tv so it's not designed for this purpose but we are repurposing them in a better way i think about the software firstly we, we need a tool called dump 1090 rs and this is basically capturing the signals at 1090 megahertz that's what we are going to run on one terminal on the other terminal you will run the radar tui so that you will see the planes around you and so on this dump tool is actually nice because it means that you can actually use this thing as a standalone if you want to build something on top of it not just a tui so this is not really coupled with the radar tui application you can use it as a library too and you can build your own sdr or digital digital signal processing applications and if you're using arch linux i already packaged them for you and you can simply install adsb deku package which will install this dump tool so i'm going to demo this in a second but you might be asking how does this thing work like how does it receive the signals how does it process them how do you visualize them in the terminal how does that work and i don't really have an answer for that but i know a platform which you can get the answer and this brings us to this video sponsor brilliant.org brilliant is an interactive learning platform where you can build a deep understanding of math science and computer science related topics so instead of just watching lectures which we used to do back in school you can actually get to play with the concepts making learning not only effective but also enjoyable and most importantly i think it helps you to not just learn about these topics but also build your problem solving skills so instead of memorizing certain things you end up learning how to think about problems and how to solve them at the end of the day you'll become a better thinker and it's get even better if you make it a daily habit so just spend a few minutes every day maybe instead of scrolling through social media and in time you will build build up a solid foundation in the topics you're interested in so whether you want to learn about the math behind radio waves how those calculations work or how do you process them what are the formulas and so on or just to sharpen your everyday problem solving skills i think brilliant as you covered if you're curious to try it out for free for full 30 days visit brilliant.org slash orhan or you can just scan the qr code on the screen right now or you can just go to the description and click the link there you will also get 20 percent off an annual premium subscription so thanks to brilliant.org for sponsoring this video and now back to the terminal to try this out first we need to run the dump program which will give us some signals to work with i'm just going to do that now it will tell that i'm using rtl str and with these configurations and so on and in another terminal we can simply run the radar application just call radar with your coordinates and it will start to fetch the 
airplanes around you and if I go ahead and look at what I got I have one airplane um, it is this one right there and I can also just zoom in or out and over time you will see the paths that are taking that's how it works and also you can get some other information such as their altitude their speed distance um, coordinates and so on I'm actually curious about the ID of this one so 89 65 or yeah it just automatically changed to the flight number so fdb 4 rj so if you google that um, you'll get the flight information so this one is going to um dubai pretty much and i guess people are enjoying their time there so basically that if you have more airplanes around you you will get them on this tree as well um i get another one right here it takes i guess it takes some time to um, get the flight number and other information um, because this is basically constantly reading data and updating it's real time uh, i don't have much planes running fly around me like f flying around me what am i saying uh, so i don't have like a huge map like this one but this this guy wherever he is he, he got like a lot of traffic going on so it's quite fun to look at the map so you might be asking how this is possible in terminal i'm just gonna quickly plug our project ratatouille here so this is the project project that i'm maintaining and um we just are very happy to provide the pro like making this possible in the terminal using rust and um if you want to build similar to apps and for the terminal just check out ratatouille what will be the use case for this you might be asking imagine um there is a flight control center and they are running some um some tools some other applications this could just replace all of those things and it's very it's very lightweight it works um quite well and yeah one other interesting use case is that imagine you have a hacker space and you have some different screens like monitors everywhere and imagine this tool running on one of those mon monitors i think it would be pretty sweet to see that running i've seen similar stuff in other hacker spaces they were monitoring the trains and so on but something like this would be quite fun to look at and imagine you collect the data for for a full day and it's gonna be a very very nice map so yeah um just keep that in mind just an idea if you're if you're running a hackerspace and if you're running this tool just let me know that i can visit you know um let me know what you want to see next or if you have any suggestions if you have any projects um i'm happy to take a look at them take care everybody see you in the next one i swear to god it was working